Hi people and welcome back to my channel and before I even explain what this is I know my hair is a mess it's hair washing day I know I'm sorry I tried to fix it to make it look semi okay but it wasn't working these little wispy bits at the side have just made me look like a crazy person but you know what it's fine it's fine I'm fine as you can see I have one half of my not face eyes done and the reason for this is Jamie Genevieve and Kaylee MUA recently did a collab on Jamie Genevieve's channel and anyone who's been here before knows that I'm obsessed with Jamie Genevieve. I think she's just fab and the look that Kaylee MUA did was so cool that I decided to try it myself. I'm in no means way shape or form a makeup artist but I was like I want to try it looks really cool. So I don't have the P. Louise base but I was like I'll just use concealer what I usually use to do a cut crease and see how well it turns out. And I'm actually like not mad about it. I'm not mad at it. I didn't use the same palette as before. I used the Obsession Bell Jordan palette and I used the Morphe 36B palette. So I used them two palettes to do the eye look where she uses the South Sue Kaylee Urban Bible palette, um, which I don't have. I did one half to try out and see if I could do it. And also my videos tend to be like 40 minutes long. This has hopefully reduced the time. So I'm going to start off and we're going to get straight into it. So if you would like to see how I created this eye, then keep watching. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to prime my lids and I'm just going to use this Rimmel Wake Me Up Concealer. And this is the same thing I'm going to use for the cut crease. Um, so I'm just going to put a small bit of that on my lid. If you see my arms and they look super, super brown, don't worry, I have to wash my tan off. Um, I knew today was hair washing day, so I put tan on. I should really should have done all this stuff before I'd start in the video, but you know what I mean? So I just primed the lid with a small bit of concealer. And now I'm going to go in with this Morphe brush. It's just a flat headed, look at the state of my hand. It's just this flat headed Morphe brush. And I'm just going to go in with that. I'm going to use that and go in with this shade here out of the Morphe 36B palette. And I'm just going to pat that. Pat it on to the outer corner and then bring whatever's left up here watch now I won't be able to do this after doing it on one eye and again I'm going a little bit more colour again and just intensify the colour dun, dun, dun. so I'm pretty happy with how that looks for the minute so the next thing I'm going to go in with is this this is a real technique real technique Real Techniques Define and Crease Brush. It's just this little fluffy brush. It's got pigment on it. It's got colour on it for me doing my eye a minute ago. And I'm just going to go in with the orange shade out of this palette. So this colour here. And I'm just going to use that just to blend the edge. So see up here where the up to the brow bone. So we're going to blend the edge just up there. So just going back and forth and just blending it out. Just wiggling it, really small movements, just wiggling the colour. I'm going to go with the darker one as well, so this one here. And I'm just going to again go over the orange. I'm just blending it out and winging it out to the side. So now that I'm happy with that, I'm just going to go in and do my cut crease. So for the cut crease, I'm going to use the same concealer again, which is the Rimmel Wake Me Up Concealer. I'm just going to take a small bit of that on the back of my hand. I'm just going to take it and I'm just going to press it onto where I want it because I never realised and well I probably should have thought of this it picks up it'll bring the colour with it underneath if you don't press it I never thought of that oh I've ruined that now oh I've made it too high no we can fix it we can fix it it's fine so we're just going to keep pressing it and then when we get to about here I'm just going to start dragging it so that it starts to blend into, take the excess off the brush and blend it into the colour. Like so. And I'm just going to use my hand and I'm just going to press out the edge. Like so. To blend that a bit better. So that I have that done, because it is a concealer, I'm just going to set it. So I'm literally just going to take the white out of the Belle Jordan palette and I'm just going to press that all over just to set the concealer that's on my lid. Just making sure to set all of it because it's quite sticky. Now. 
the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with my Spectrum B04 brush. So it's just this angled brush here. Again, it has colour on it from using it. And I'm going to go into the yellow on this. So this yellow here. And I'm going to put that into the inner corner and outwards. So we're just going to press it on. Again, pressing it on. And I'm basically just doing the section the size of the brush. I'm not really moving anywhere outwards from that. And now I'm going to flip the brush over and I'm going to dip it into the orange again that we used originally for the blending of the outer corner. And again I'm just going to press that up through the centre. It can overlap a small bit just to help with the blending process of it. So again, pressing it on. Oh, I was dropping that on myself. I'm just going to brush it a slight bit like that. The yellow into it just to blend it a bit better. Because obviously we don't want it to be like a harsh transition. Now, so now that we have the orange done, I'm now going to go in with my... Real Technique shading brush, just a small little brush and I'm going to go in with the darker colour again that we used to, to transition this one here and I'm going to use that red, like a blood orange for the last part of the eye, so just here and again I'm just going to press it on all up through the cut crease pressing it on I'm going to go back in with the orange again just to Toughen it up a bit. I feel like it's getting a bit lost in there. So there you can see we have the transition between the yellow into the orange into the red and then again the purple that we did originally. So now that I have that done, the next brush I'm going to go in with is my large smudger brush again from Real Techniques. And I'm just going to dip into the black here from the Belle Jordan palette, stamp it in and I'm just going to stamp that along the lash line just at the outer corner just stamping it and just bringing it kind of around into the original purple shade that we placed just to darken out the outer corner I'm just gonna go in with this brush here and I'm just gonna blend that out a bit so it's not as harsh now so that is that done there so that's both eyes done and I'm just going to shoot off camera now and do my mascara on my lash because well the other lash because it can take me anywhere between half a day and a year to have to put on lashes so I'll be back in just two minutes now I'm going to go in I've got my lashes on so you can just see there completed eyelids with lashes and I'm just going to go in now and do the rest of my face so first of all I'm going to prime and to prime I'm going to use the Becca first light prime and filter I'm just going to put a small bit of that on my hands the mirror and I'm just gonna put that all around and just rub it in what you know she's heard before now so now that that is on just make sure it's everywhere now that that is on, I'm just going to go on and I'm do my foundation. Usually I would apply my foundation with a beauty blender, but today I decided to do it with a brush. Just to change it up, because I'm kind of bored of doing it the same way all the time. So I'm going to use the same foundation I always use. I'm really looking to get a new one, although I love this foundation. This is the Milani 2-in-1 Conceal and Perfect in the shade Vanilla. I'm thinking of getting the NARS Radiance Glow Foundation. I think that's what it's called. Um, but because I'm buying it online, it's just like what colour will I get? I don't know if I can buy it. I don't think we sell nars over here so I'd have to buy it online. I'm just gonna dab, 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 dab. This is a new brush by the way, this is by Revolution. I don't know what brush it is, but it's just like a buffer, flat buffing brush. So I'm just gonna buff that in. Why am I doing this without a mirror? I ask myself. So I'm just gonna buff that in. Oh my god, it's so weird when you haven't used a brush in so long. All over. Oh, I don't know if I like it with a brush. Oh, I have to apply more. Where's it all gone? No, no, it's here. There's nowhere else in my face. Oh, I don't know if I like a brush. It's very floppy. It's very weird to apply with a brush. After been applying a sponge for so long. I don't know if I like that. Right, 
it's not as full coverage when you use a brush which I don't think I like I'm just gonna push these little fluffy bits back because they're in the way so oh god devil horn push the fluffy bits back and we'll try again dab 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 right okay when we go with a second layer it's a bit better oh I don't know do I like this or no no I'm not a fan I'm not a fan of a brush oh god oh god no I just don't I don't understand where is all my foundation gone Okay, it doesn't look bad on camera, it doesn't. Uh, to you, it probably looks okay, and you're probably trying to like, far to your cake, but I don't know in the mirror, although it's like blending nicer than it does, kind of, around my 10,000 chins. Um, I don't know. I feel like it looks not as full coverage, and I can see, like, you can't see it on camera, that's annoying. I can see like all like the texture here. Mm, I don't know how I feel about it. I'm gonna go in with first for my under eyes. I'm gonna go in with the Becca Opal Under Eye Brightening Corrector. So it's just this little pot. I'm just gonna go in with that in my under eyes. I'll just use this brush. No, I don't usually use a brush, but we use a brush today. I'm trying all different things. So I'm gonna put a little, no job. I'm gonna use my finger. Just to dab that under there. People are probably like, no, don't use your hands. It's fine. I'm just placing it. I'm going to use a sponge to blend it. I can't find the brush I usually use. And I'm not going searching for it. So I'm just going to use my beauty blender. Big beauty blender. To do that. I'm going to blend. Use the foundation brush again. To blend that in. Because obviously it's a bit of a pinkier tone. Why eyelash? Why? Okay, fix it for now. Okay, I'm going to go in with my concealer now. I'm just going to use this brush again. And I'm just going to dab and put concealer where I need it. So here is where we need it. All around here. See this texture business? Usually with Beauty Blender that hides all that. So I'm just going to dab the concealer on with a brush. And then I might Beauty Blend it into my face. Oh, I don't like it. <laughs> right, so in my beauty blender now, I'm just gonna bounce that in to the skin. See, you can't see what I can see up close, and this is not doing anything. It has improved. See this one here? I've got breakout here. I don't think you can see it. So, this is. The foundation with a brush Um, I don't usually put foundation on with a brush I don't think I've ever put that foundation on with a brush but I don't mind it it's okay it looks nice on camera it looks not as full coverage as I'm used to having on me but I'm gonna go in now and I'm going to do my bron bronzer bronzer what the hell I'm gonna go in and do my bronzer so I'm just gonna take my needing to be washed spectrum a01 brush just this big fluffy brush here and I'm just going to warm up the face. Butter bronzer, if you can see that, by Physicians Formula. Um, I love it, it smells like a holiday. And I'm just going to warm up the same way I usually do. If I love you was a promise. See how much better that looks, sorry. Be tan, my love, be tan. Would you break it? If you're honest, you can see my hand. Don't look at my arm, it's disgraceful. Oh, I actually, it looks okay. This lighting, see this ring light? It, everyone should just buy one and they should be constantly connected to them at all times because it just makes things look so much better. Like on camera, that looks nice, but I, like, no. But actually, now my skin does look nice. It actually does apply nicer with a brush. <laughs> Maybe that's been my problem with this foundation the whole time. I'm putting on too much of it wouldn't surprise me at all uh the next thing i'm going to go in with is another bronzer this is the benefit hula bronzer i'm just going to go in with a little bit of that on this it's just a pennies brush it's just this really small fluffy brush i'm just going to take a tiny bit of that tap it off and we're going to 
I'm going to apply that just the same place that I was doing on the bronzer, just give a little bit of definition to my moon head. So just along here, just a small tiny bit from the hairline. See it just kind of brings it in a little bit better to my moon head. Moon, moon head. Just to shape the moon a little bit better. So next thing I'm going to do is my brows. I'm going to go and use the usual thing that I always use for my brows, which is the Benefit Cabrow and the New Look Brow Mascara. So that's what I'm going to use to do my brows. And I'm going to shoot off and do them off camera because it's the same way that I always do them. And I'll be back in two seconds. Okay, so I am back after doing my brows. And now the last thing that I need to do is my under eyes. And what goes up must come down. I'm going to go in first with my... Spectrum B06 brush. It's just this fluffy brush. Don't mind the tan. And I'm going to go in again with the first shade that we use on our eyes, which is this purple shade here. So I'm just going to go in with that first. And again, I'm just going to put that in my under eye. So I'm just going to run that under here. Don't mind my facial expressions because God bless me. Under the under eye. We just have that really blown out and the next color we're going to go in with is the red shade and i'm going to take the shading brush by real techniques and i'm just going to go in with the red shade that we used in the top eye top of our eyes as well and i'm just going to again put that under there now the next color i'm going to go in with is the orange so i'm just going to go with the orange and again it's just putting every color that we put on the top in my under eye just so it's all there i'm just going to focus the orange mainly on the inner corner and again, on the other side, you can have this as smoked out or as not smoked out as you want. And the last but not least colour we put in is the yellow. And again, I'm going to use the same brush again, just tapping off the excess. I'm just going to push that into the inner corner. Now, so as you can see, that is the under eyes. Um, I'm really impressed with that. I'm going to put my mascara on and then we will move swiftly on to highlighter, which is, I think, near enough to everybody's favourite part. I literally have no under eye lashes bottom under eye why do i keep saying that i have no bottom eye lashes whatsoever they're practically non-existent if anyone knows a way for me to get new ones <laughs> let me know <laughs> now so there is the eyes completely done top and bottom so now we're going to go in with the highlight and it's literally my favorite part and everyone knows the highlight we're going to use because it's the only one i use so i'm going to go in with my becca opal this is the travel size one i do have a full size but i'm refusing to use it on this until this one's all gone because waste not one no waste not one oh, ladies and gentlemen so i'm just going to go in with my usual places and i'm just going to start on the cheeks look at that look at that <laughs> can we appreciate can we appreciate on this side now Do you know what's really annoying me? I have to go to work now and I can't go to work with this makeup on and I'm really impressed by how this turned out because God bless me did I not think it was going to look like this. I'm so happy right now. What have I done to my nose? Oh, that didn't look right. And down the bridge of my nose and above my eyebrow. Mm, shine like the gods. And just my lip. I just can't get over it. I just can't. Look at that. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Right. Okay. Calm. So the next thing I'm going to do is, because I just want a little bit of glitter and this could probably ruin the whole entire thing, but look and have a listen. It's fine. I'm just going to go in with the Colour Lasting Creamy Eyeshadow from Kiko. It's just this little pot in the shade 7. It's just a silvery shade. I'm just going to put a little bit of this in my inner corner just to give a little pop of shine. So just a little top pop there, a little pop there, just on either side. So you can just see there, it's just a tiny bit of shine on either side of my eyes. I think it looks quite pretty. Uh, and the last but not least thing is lips. It's just a Penny's eyeliner, this brown shade from Penny's. It was 150 and of course, the holy grail of lipsticks, Jamie Genevieve's MAC lipstick. So I'm just gonna line my lips. So 
So we're just going to line them. I put a bit of liner on the actual lip just so it blends nicer into the lipstick. And then we're going to take a look. And when this runs out, I'm going to be heartbroken. I haven't got much left of it. I will die. I'm just going to apply, apply, apply this now. Yeah, so that is the final look. I am so happy with how this turned out. So you can just see there. This is the final look. I'm so happy with how the eyes turned out. I did not expect them to look any way nice. I think my skin looks way better with the brush than it usually does with a beauty blender. Although I love beauty blenders. Um, I don't know. I feel like this foundation, because it's such full coverage, I may go a bit ham with it sometimes. And it does look okay at first. But then as the day goes on, it just starts to look cakey. But I kind of feel like now that I've done it with a brush, it won't. Um, so this is me recreating the look that Kaylee MUA did on Jamie Genevieve. I thought it was so gorgeous when she done it and the colours were so vibrant. I'm really going to get the P. Louise base because I think that will make all the difference. Although it doesn't look too bad just using a concealer. Like it's not bad. I'm not saying it's bad. It's, I think it looks deadly. I'm so proud of myself right now. But I think with a P. Louise base it just look a lot better. Um, I'm so happy. I'm so happy and I've achieved something today. I hope you like my new little like background. I will have better lights. These are just the only lights that I had. These little like, the like copper string lights. Uh, pennies, I think they were like three quid. They're the only ones I had but I bought new ones off Wish. Until there's like more of them so they're gonna go up behind me so it'll be more lighty. I hope you can see my little glitter effect. I worked really hard, painted this blade wall white, <laughs> took far coats pen because it was originally blue. And now I'm starting on about a video that I didn't want to be 40 minutes. It's going to be 40 minutes. And my camera's down. i got to go. Thank you all so, so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to subscribe. Because it means so, so much to me. Help an Irish girl out. And I'll see you in my next video. Love you all. Slán.